right before we get started if you guys are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit the red button it is always free and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can see the latest that's going on on this channel and if you do not mind please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up okay you guys you can tell by the title of this video we are talking about melanin skin melanin skin no <laughs> melanin hair care product so I could not wait to get this and I was so excited to use it um then when I opened it and I smelled the product I was like $26.99 for shea butter okay girl so if you want to hear my review stay tuned um I want to be as transparent as possible and yeah so you guys stay tuned Before I get started talking about the product, I want to show you guys how I used it. Right here, I'm using my Mitch Chicks Leave-In Conditioner, and I mixed it with water, and I sprayed my hair on it. My hair was already wet. It was washed and ready to go, but I wanted it to be a little more saturated, and so that's why I used the water with my Mitch Chicks. Then I'm using the Deming Brush to make the curls more um, defined. And I went section by section doing the same routine, um, all the way until I finished my entire head. So you guys, you see my hair, this is a result of um, using this product. I'm not too thrilled about my wash and go. It is not as defined as I would like. It's more, um, I don't know, I just don't like it. So what can I say? If you didn't know, this product is by Natural85. I was excited to buy her product and see what it was about because um, if you watch her video, she does amazing DIYs for um, natural hair and you know making your own products and gels and things like that i probably would not use this product again for a wash and go i would most likely use it just to style my hair like with twists or a braid out or something like that in that nature i think i would probably use it for a moisturizing base also because i don't think it did really good for my hair as a wash and go it did um, stretch out my curls which it says on the product that that's what it's made for to elongate your curls or stretch out the um, twist or your uh, braid out. It did do that, so kudos to her for that. It did do what it said it would do. My product says that it's perfect for a wash and go. I don't think so personally, but if you like her hair, the way she styles her hair or whatever, it I think it turns out more like that. So if you love that, then this is the product for you. For me, I don't too much care for the way that she styles her hair, but everybody is different and that's what she likes. So. I'm not knocking it, it's just not for me. I would say the product, it is a lightweight on your hair once it dries, but as you're putting the product on during your wash and go, it is kind of heavy, but I would guess it would be heavy because um, it's for elongating your curls or your style. Uh, I think a little goes a long way, even though in the video you see that I am very heavy handed with the product, but a little goes a long way. But as far as the smell, I'm telling you guys, it smells just like your regular old shea butter and i guess if you love shea butter this would be a great product for you because it's shea butter without all the greasiness you don't have to worry about it getting all of your pillowcase or anything like that i think it could have been better with the smell i guess shea butter is such a dominant uh smell or you want to call it but it smells exactly like shea butter and when i'm buying a product that's been manufactured and um i guess different than shea butter i would want a different smell and I guess she is going for like the more uh, the organic kind of product. As far as the look of the product, I don't know if I really care for it or whatever because it kind of reminds me of a jar of relaxer. Thing. This is the card that came with the product. Um, you could buy the oil also. She has an oil to go to go with this product, um, styling cream and an oil. But I felt like I didn't need the oil because this product kind of gives you a little bit of that moisturizing. Um, the moisture that you're looking for for your hair i probably would not be buying this product again if i have to get it shipped out because i don't want to pay 26.99 for a product for a jar of something I, it was 26.99 i decided no to the oil the product was 16.99 but i, I ended up paying 26.99 um, for the product because of shipping and taxes so i thought it was pretty high and it is a 16 ounce uh, jar 
a product. But on a serious note, as I found out that I was paying $26.99 for just the jar of um, styling cream, I really just wanted to try this one. Um, and it's funny because the product says long lasting definition and to me, I really didn't get much definition um, in my hair from this product. I think I get more definition when I use mixed chicks. That's just a product I like, the leave-in conditioner. And she does suggest to use a leave-in conditioner with this product, which I did. Then you guys can see in the video of me doing my hair. I'd rather just buy it inside the store where I can pay um, $17 or $18 just, you know, with the tax. It is very, very thick. It has a thick consistency. And it is very lightweight, as you can see. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it doesn't have that greasy, greasy feel of, um, of shea butter. But overall, the product was okay. I don't want to say I won't be buying again because I did want to test the product out on my daughter's hair because all of us have different textures. So I would love to try it on her hair on a different texture to see, you know, if it's a difference from my hair and their hair. Um, and I would say if your hair is pretty, I guess, fine, maybe three, three A, B, I guess three A or three B hair. Um, I'm not sure about all the A's and B's and all that kind of stuff. But if your hair is like a straighter curl pattern, then I would say this product might be a little heavy for you, um, but you still can try the product and use a little and see how it does. I don't know. Just going off my texture and what I think, what I get out of the product when I tried it. So you guys, I have nothing else to say about this product. I'll be buying again. I don't know. I will try this uh, product on a hairstyle, like a braid out or a twist out. And I will let you guys know how it worked on that. And it might be just the perfect product for um, a braid out or a twist out or something like that. So I will be testing different styles with it because I don't want to just give her product a thumbs down just yet. Um, I'm kind of like right here with it, right in the middle. So I will test out some more things and I will let you guys know. It was just my quick review on this product. So you guys, as always, you need to try products for your own self, your own hair texture, because everybody's hair has different needs and react to the products in different ways. Um, but that is it. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.